Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Roman campaign. The situation is not good, to put it frankly. Uh, we'll try to manage to find a way out of this, but I don't think we have many options. So, what happened in the last episode? Uh, we managed to kill Pyrus, but uh, well, his generals are still continuing the war. Uh, another army is descending directly to Cosentia, and we are trying to survive. Yeah, that's all. If you didn't saw the second episode, yeah, you can just skip it. <laughs> so, um, what's happening? Um, we see that our first legion, our veterans, are trying to recover from uh, our wounds. Unfortunately, our economy is in shambles due to the loss of Asculum. Uh, Beneventum stands hold firmly in the Epirid's hands. Uh, there are just uh, too many men to actually think about a counterattack for in, in this very moment. Ready for orders. We'll fortify the legions near Rome. And uh, when our first region uh, is gonna recover completely, we have either two choices. Either we stay in Arminium and we wait for the inevitable attack of the Epirot army, or we could try and get to Asculum as soon as possible. Uh, I believe that uh, we cannot recruit anybody else. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot afford it. Uh, just to simply put it, uh, we will go and fortify as much as we can. Cannot. Okay. Well, we'll try to descend into Asculum and take it as soon as possible. Uh, we can do two things. Okay, so let's end the turn. We're gonna lose Cosentia, so I'm not very uh, worried about that settlement. What we can do, uh, although uh, although it's kind of a gamble, we could try to go to Asculum, uh, try to get the attention of one of the armies near Beneventum. And then we can attack Beneventum and cut off the supply lines of the Epiriots. Although I know that they're gonna be uh, probably supplied by sea, but whatever. Um, this battle deployment is kind of strange because I saw that they have a lot of heavy infantry. We do not have any heavy infantry, but the battle deployment still is in our favor. Uh, perhaps this is just a way of the AI to calculate the probability of victory. Uh, but yeah, let's fight this battle. Let's see if we can... Uh, I don't know if we can defeat them. I don't know if we can defeat the army. The situation is very dire, I'm gonna admit it. Uh, but we'll try. Um, so, as I said, I don't care too much about Cosentia. Uh, if we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose. But still, we're gonna make some damage. As much damage as we can. Uh, same strategy. Uh, those are not big cities. Uh, we do not have such uh, flexibility of men and uh, equipment to do any other types of strategies than just staying on the main square and wait for the inevitable slaughter of our troops. Um, so we need to block three entrances, as we see. Uh, the Epirot army is in the, uh, in the front of the city main entrance. Uh, we could try to hold off uh, the invaders here. Uh, just not to put our men too close to each other, just to keep them, uh, uh, just to spread them a little bit, just in case, uh, you know, skirmishers will try to attack us. Uh, okay, another here. Or we should just defend the temple. Um, I think that the AI will not try and encircle us because what I General. actually observed is that the AI likes to throw for duty. the cavalry uh, against our uh, spears, which is Let good for us. So it means that we can kill the cavalry easier. Uh, we're gonna move some flaps here, just move some there to cover our flanks. We have some uh, slingers, uh, we're gonna put them here, just to do some damage to include troops, and one here. We're gonna leave uh, our general in the main square just to give him flexibility, and we start the battle. That's it, uh, as I said previously, we don't have enough men or enough equipment to uh, think about uh, any other strategy, unfortunately. This gives them little time for manly pursuits useful in war. So Oops. 
Germans. Play pass. And good luck. Yeah, as I saw, uh, as I said, uh, yeah, they like, they very like to throw the cover thing. I don't know why. Uh, our stringers, yeah, our stringers are already gonna harass them, which is great. Let's see what they will do. Missile infantry ready. Cannot, unfortunately, throw stones. There, but they're gonna be stopped probably. Everybody will hold position. Yeah, other people are coming. So the main attack will be focused on the front of the city. Uh, I just gonna check the situation. If the situation is favorable. Perhaps we can move some of our more decent troops uh, just to help the house guard. Let's see how many. Uh, we've only killed 10 and we've lost already 60 men, uh, 40 men, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's not good, not good at all. Uh, we need to think quickly about what to do. Perhaps we could try and encircle, which could be funny in a certain way. Because really, I don't know what kind of other strategy we can uh, employ. Uh, we have no chance, realistically speaking. Circled some of the troops. This is gonna give us much, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Our general is under attack. Yeah, I know, I know. Kind of situation, unfortunately, there is nothing we can do. We 
have a very poor infantry, uh, we have some singles, but you cannot really expect and hold everything. Not against like very heavy phalanx. Yeah, the phalanx formation, especially if you are uh, playing phalanx, is uh, formidable. The only weakness, the only real weakness would be countered uh, by the flanks, but still, as I said previously, we don't have a real flexibility in the uh, Yeah, it's a shame, but... Let's try to make as much damage as we can. the slingers here on the south. I mean, the south, I don't know which direction is it that, but... because our men in the back are fleeing, so uh, no chance of routing them, unfortunately. Yeah, it's only us right now, uh, us in the back. We're gonna disengage our general and just leave. Kill them, kill them. Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Staying like this. Victory for Rome. Yeah, it's not gonna end well. We're losing so much men. Yeah, we're done for. Spears, Our men yep. flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. I mean, heavy infantry. They have such a weak morale. I understand that the whole army is shattered, but still. Whatever. Uh, too bad. So we lost uh, a thousand men. They have deployed also 2,000, but <laughs> heavy infantry, and we still managed to kill almost 170, so it's uh, not so bad. Considering we, a half of our, of our army was made of plebs. Town Gardner. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just change the result of the war uh, in the next moves. We'll see. Uh, either it's gonna be this or we're just gonna be crushed by the pilots. And yeah, confession time. Um, not for anything, but I have. Uh, experience with the vanilla game but this is uh, honestly my 
first time in uh, <laughs> in Divided Impera. Uh, I know that the vanilla game starts after the Pyrrhic Wars, so uh, Pyrrhus is defeated, he flees home, and Rome is the sole master of uh, Italia. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this type of challenge is fun because you have uh, ways to improve your experience in the game, uh, you need to fight battles, you need to think strategically, um, and the Epirots are actually very very strong at this point of the game. Uh, in the real history the Epirots came into Italia because Tarentum was uh, in conflict with Rome about naval treaties, uh, and they asked the Epirots to help, and the Epirots came, they brought uh, heavy infantry, elephants, and we need to say that Romans, uh, the Romans, the first time they saw elephants, were, they were terrified because you need to think of elephants not as uh, big, cute animals, uh, well, cute, uh, relatively cute, um, big animals that we know today as kept in the zoo or in the wildlife, but as living tanks. So seeing those tanks crashing against uh, your line of men, it's something that I would never want to see. So yeah, Pyrus ca comes, but unfortunately Pyrus being a tactical genius, he didn't think too much strategically. Uh, I think that one of the reasons why uh, we use the term Pyrrhic victory is that I think that Pyrus didn't expect to lose so many men. Uh, he was just throwing men, he was winning battles, but his numbers were dwindling by every, each battle he was fighting. So that's why now we have like this term, uh, Pyrrhic victory, because Pyrus was like very heavy on his man, like he was like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep fighting, keep fighting and fighting, and then, you know, uh, he fought so much, he won so much that uh, all of these victories, well, they drained his numbers. Commander. And as we said previously, as I said previously, I think that we managed to actually get the attention of uh, the Epirot army. So they moved to Asklum, we're gonna fortify the passage to Arminum, and with the uh, second legion, we're gonna take Beneventum immediately. Let's see if we can auto balance it. Yeah, 90%, not bad. Let's take the city. And perhaps this is gonna improve our economical situation a little bit. Uh, we're gonna occupy, of course, our city. Uh, the situation, well, it didn't improve so much, but still, we have a city. Our main got, got some experience. Uh, what can we choose for our Primus Inter Pares? Um, Commander of Men, which is very good, uh, gives us authority, uh, Gravitas per turn and morale for all units, um, Russia's Warrior, I don't think, maybe, because there is a great bonus for uh, skills for infantry. Uh, yeah, let's go with the melee skill. Melee skill and uh, Swordsman. Yeah, even straight swordsman, yeah, it's gonna be uh, impactful. Uh, I mean, our society right now is gonna be just war, uh, until we defeat the Epirots, if we manage to. So, how many turns? Uh, two turns to replenish our numbers. Can we hire some mercenaries? Yes, we can. Uh, what can I do? Uh, Equites um, Ichi or Etruscani? Um, and Pellegrini. Um, we have a lot of infantry, and even heavy infantry, so let's just take cavalry. Uh, we cannot hire anymore because we don't have the money, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, any help is gonna uh, is gonna be impactful right now. So my expectation is that okay, the character. Wait. Which one? Yeah, our governor. Uh, let's uh, improve the restraint. Uh, public orator, yeah, and uh, let's for maintenance, wealth, for culture, culture conversion, enemy agents. Uh, let's choose the reformer. Uh, we got some very minor bonuses for our economy, and uh, now in the Following turn, I expect the army, the Epirot army, to attack us uh, either in the fort near Ariminum or in Beneventum. We'll see.
Yeah, they attacked our fort. Mm, so what is the best choice of action here? Um, let's see. Yeah, we're not gonna be left with much, unfortunately. Mm. What if you retreat, uh, but we're gonna lose the fort? Um, I don't know if they're gonna follow us if we retreat. I don't know, let's try it. Let's try it. If they're gonna follow us, too bad. Yeah, we need to fight. Ah, okay. That was a bad choice. We could have fought uh, inside the fort and gives us more protection, but uh, okay, there's nothing we can do right now. We need to fight and we need to think about it. How to get off of this dire situation. The problem is that they have elephants, so it's not gonna be a fair fight, let's say. They're just gonna send the elephants and they're gonna crush us. See that? Okay. Yeah, let's take advantage of the hills here. It's gonna be very difficult to deploy our army because there are trees here. But still, um, let's see what we can do. Like for the elephants, it's gonna be very tiring to go up the hill. We should go as as possible. Just thinking about the optimal position for our troops, you know. This one for the high ground for the skirmishers. I can I can see a thing really. Which is the range? Yeah, the range is not bad. What about the Astati? Uh, the Astati. Put them here. Then another one. Uh, one here. And okay, those troops are gonna be staying here. They're just gonna form a group. Uh, front one. This is gonna be the first one. Thanks, the second. Uh, our levies are going to be the third one, go behind the line. Uh, what about our Prinkeps? Uh, the Prinkeps? Principes! Principes, uh, yeah. Uh, Prinkeps is just the Roman, the Latin wording for them, by Principes. Okay, so our Principes is gone, are going to stay uh, right uh, behind our skirmishers. Ready and waiting! While our Triari, I think, those are going to be the second line of defense, our Triari instead uh, will guard our flanks. And I'm going to explain why. I expect the Epirots to actually try to uh, get on our flanks. Okay, cavalry, the cavalry is gonna be hidden in the forest, but not be too close to our main formations. Uh, let's move them here. Are they gonna be visible? No. Uh, I just hope the Epirot army is not gonna see them. So, um, this is the main strategy that I have. Um, nothing special, but it might work as far as I'm concerned. Priori! Or at least it might work to actually kill like half of their troops. And then that would be enough to retake Asculum and then finish them off before the uh, main contingent from Cosentia will come and help them. So let's start the battle and hope for the best. I know that this battle seems to be boring but uh, you need to understand that we are in the early game. 
as in the game we are, to, are to war with two factions. One is a big military power uh, for the time. Yeah, their friends are coming and we don't have nothing in technology or in resources because Rome is still not as developed as it will be in the future. And we need to find to fight with everything we have. So we need to save men, retreat whatever possible, leave settlements if they cannot be conquered. Uh, leave them if they cannot be defended properly and try to kill as many enemies as we can. So if you have criticism about the battle that it should be more mobile, it should be more flexible, yeah I'm sorry about that but uh, what counts right now is to not to crush our economy, not to lose too many cities and not to lose as many men as we can, even uh, Hastati, which are basically uh, cannon fodder. So our cavalry is not has not been discovered yet. As far as we know, there is a regiment of cavalry going uh, up the hill. The elephant are marching slowly, and this is a shame. I would expect the yeah, eye to just throw them, you know, and tire them a little bit. But I don't think that's gonna happen. One big advantage is that it seems that all of our troops are hidden, uh, which is great. They're gonna have some uh, bonuses. Uh, let's speed up the game a little bit because I think that DIA is trying to figure out where our troops are. Uh, the only units that we can clearly see because, you know, it's very difficult not to see them are the elephants. And we see the army coming, yes, they're coming, finally. Uh, so, as I said, um, why I think we can have an advantage in the hills? Like, I don't know how this battle is gonna turn. Uh, we can either lose, uh, or we can actually win this battle. Uh, historically, uh, one of the reasons why the Romans preferred to have swordsmen, uh, and they later they will adopt swordsmen uh, as their main unit force, is that uh, swords give you better flexibility. I mean, phalanx is phenomenal, but in the playing fields. So the phalanx is not good, it's not well suited for Terrains like forests and hills. And in fact, there was a historical battle uh, fought after the uh, fall of Carthage in uh, 146 BC during the Macedonian Wars, in which the Romans they managed to win the battle because of the uh, lack of flexibility of the Macedonian phalanx. Uh, so. Uh, I want to see what the Epirots are, which will try to do here. I have some mercenaries, some Astati, to scout me. Uh, okay, so... We don't, it seems that we don't have a battle limit, so we either lose or we're gonna win. We cannot just wait uh, until we're gonna crush them. And let's use our cavalry immediately, because I see that they have some cavalry skirmishers, which is not good. Uh, those ones uh, are gonna be a real pain for our troops, so we need to crush them as uh, fast as we can. Our general is under attack! Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Uh, Let's retreat and the heroes. Assume the flying wedge and now crash them. Let's see if we can catch up to them. Uh, not really. Um, yeah, let's try. We to have discovered them. the enemy's hidden units. Yeah, I think we're gonna expect a fight on our flanks. General's gonna go here, but apparently he's gonna go and try to do some damage to the uh, Equites. Go uh, here. The elephants are still trying to and chase us, but we're just gonna split their forces and we're gonna wait and target them if 
possible. Let's try and uh, let the AI tire his units in a very irresponsible manner. <laughs> okay, um, so if I speed up the game, I know it doesn't sound so realistic, but uh, I don't want to wait like really half an hour just to move my troops. I'm not so patient. <laughs> and no, I think you are my viewers, so yeah. Orders! Yeah, I'm actually uh, do some, doing some damage here. Could be better, but still. The army is trying to move here, uh, counter us. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Yeah, there are some hidden units as well. Yeah, I have to say that, uh, although not perfect, the AI is uh, smarter, it appears to be smarter at least than in Vanilla Ron. Okay, let's just retreat. Made enough, made enough damage. The men are wavering. Oh, really? Come on. Let's go up the hill. Let's see if they're gonna take the bait and chase us. What are those? Oh, the Tarantine Copnats from Trento. Unfortunately, uh, this is not gonna go as planned. Okay, so from my what I can see in the cursor here in the UI. They're still fresh, kind of fresh, active, so they're not really tired and as we can see they're just moving up the hill very slowly. Yeah, I think they've discovered us. See if our line is gonna <laughs> hold. Our hidden units have been discovered. Yep. And the, fog, the real fight starts. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, we're making some gain, some damage, which is nice. Principes! Our principes are not just gonna go here and counter the cavalry. Our hidden units have been discovered! One of our 
units is used all its ammunition. Okay, it seems like we'll need to move the principes here. We're gonna make a cover call and units have been discovered! Plinky Pesk here are still staying, they're gonna offer support if needed. Uh, yeah, I know this battle is very confusing for the forest and all of the obstacles, I'm sorry, but this is our best chance to actually win this battle. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Let's try maybe in the circle, shall we? Uh, the Triari are the chats that are holding against the... But still, as I said, hoplites are very, very strong. Let's try and uh, relieve the right flank. Okay, some units are wavering from the one of our units has used all its ammunition. Are you gonna catch to us? Yeah. Victory for Rome! We need to help our general. Let's go and crush the Ermans. Our men flee the field of battle! Oh, come on, our general is running. Ah, oh, come on. Really? General has fallen! Oh, oh, he has fallen. Uh, nice. That's great. Just great. That he has been, been destroyed, like, literally. Oh my god, this, this was bad. Just the ten phalanx, you know, and the elephants, they're, they're so good. Our men fighting. flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Yeah, this battle was very, very bad. Uh, yeah, my bad, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we'll try to come up with something else, but I don't think we can. 
pretty much we're in a very bad situation. Uh, I could do that for the recoveries. Our men flee the field of battle. This is the shape of this place. The worst news is that we didn't even kill that many men. in this situation. If only we could move the first legion and attack Taras in the south and then go back and kill them off. Hmm. If only. Okay, so one shrewd of good news is that we didn't lose the whole legion, unfortunately. And since the Epirot army is still far away, I would think to actually... War! We will make your homes a wasteland, despoil your women, enslave your children, and desecrate your ancestors' graves. Uh, okay, man. Yeah, sure. Just perfect. Oh, um, wait. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Let's take this plebeian, uh, general. At your command. Let's take Asculum. Besieging the settlement. Immediately. Eighty-three percent. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna do this just so our legion can have some experience. So melee attack, and I want them to be level conquerors, accomplished skirmishers, formidable fighters. And then for him, I want our men to have more defense. And then as for management, civil land management, sanitation and wealth, I think that we'll need tactics, but even more tactics. So. Proficiency, yeah, level proficiency. With that, uh, and Legion is just gonna go in the minimum. Hold on. At your command. And let's give the trade. Uh, Fashion, skill tactician. Uh, skill tactician, yeah. 
Uh, plus three melee defense when defending. Yeah, it's gonna be useful. Uh, can Postumia, our great spy, can do anything? Like sabotage the supply of the army. She failed, but it's not too bad. She got some experience, so with the experience she gained, uh, we can actually improve her abilities. Okay, so I think the episode is long enough. Uh, we'll come back in the next episodes. We reclaimed our land, part of our land, unfortunately. The episodes are far from being destroyed. We've lost so many just for the defeat of some few. The situation is dire. We attacked on two fronts. But I believe there is still hope. There's still hope for a victory. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like this content, please like, subscribe and share it. And I'm gonna see you next time.